Hello, I'm Brian, and in my last video, I made a plane game. It's a nice game and all, but you may have noticed something. The terrain fucking sucks! How fucking pressing is that? So I spent the last three weeks making some sick procedurally generated islands, complete with dirt, rocks, swinging trees, water, mushrooms, clouds. Next thing you know, it'll grab me a beer from the fridge. Ha. Ha ha ha. Shut up. Step one was to make the ground. Oh, this literally has everything I need. Thanks, Sebastian Leg. And just like that, three days later, we have ground. Next, I had to make a shader to color my terrain. Two hours later. <clears throat> So, I'll start with the positives. It does its job, but it's messy as hell. This blends two colors together. This bit also blends two colors together. This middle bit then blends the two pairs of blended colors together. Nice. Okay, so right now, whoa, let me just adjust the rotation script. Jesus. The water is just a blue color on the mesh itself. And I want real water, goddammit. After merging three different water tutorials together, I got something I was relatively happy with for now. I'm sure you'll agree that the default sky is pretty dull. After some scouring online, I found this blog post which explained how to make a customizable sky. This post also solved something I was planning to do next, which is blending some fog with the sky to create a horizon. Don't worry though, I did have my struggles. At first, it looked super ugly when blending, but to fix it, I just stretched the ocean out and made it fade over a really long distance. Next I made some code that I adapted from Legend to make trees spawn depending on the height of the terrain. For now, I have it spawning trees and rocks. Lastly, I added some post-processing to spice it up a bit. Now that the basics are down, it's time to make everything actually look good. I made a really big sand plane to span the bottom of our ocean so that we didn't have a super ugly scene where the island mesh ended. Hey, hey. Hey, oh my god, can you not see I'm- What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing. It just waved. Next, I grabbed a water asset from the asset store that had reflections, ripped those out, and smacked them into my own shader. Next, I tried to get these nice, crispy sun reflections. But I couldn't do it without the other half of my water becoming incredibly bright. So I decided to leave it for when, you know, I actually know what I'm doing. Since we're going to be flying pretty high up in the plane, I decided to tackle making some actual clouds. I found this tutorial to follow, and they ended up looking really nice, but... It made the water look very pixelated, so I just disabled the cloud reflections. There you go, kids. If you have problems, just smack some flex tape on that bitch. Thank you, Phil Swift. No, that's a lot of damage! I decided to improve the vegetation spawning a bit to include more variation. I started by changing the script to accept multiple types of models. Then I added big and small rocks, some plants in the water, palm trees, which only spawn on sand, and some miscellaneous models like bushes, planks, and little mushrooms. Lastly, I wanted to bring the vegetation to life by adding some wind effects. I used this tutorial to achieve this, and it works nicely until you press play and then whoa. And as a final touch, I found some post-processing settings I liked. I think the islands work pretty well with our game. You can fly around, dodge missiles, and... Hello, you have no clipped from reality into the back rooms. If you would like to escape, subscribe to Brian's track.